Hello, I'll be showing you how to make elf fries, a simple, tasty, and healthier homemade alternative to fast food french fries. It'll help to satisfy your french fry craving, like the french fry loving Eurofuda, the elf from the manga Plus Sized Elf by mangaka Shineku Doki, where the recipe comes from. You'll need two medium sized potatoes of similar size and shape. As we're keeping the skin of the potato on for this recipe, you'll want to clean the skin of the potato of the dirt possibly caked on it. Wash every nook and cranny of the potatoes under running water to ensure no dirt stays on the potatoes. After you wash the potatoes, you'll be cutting them into wedges next. Equip your plus 2 attack knife to cut the wedges. Please don't actually swing the knife around as it is dangerous. Keeping your fingers in a cat's paw position for all cutting, cut the potato in half in the horizontal position first. Put the cutoff section down on the cutting board then cut it in half. Put the third cutoff section down on the cutting board then cut in half again. Flip the potato up and keep your fingers in the cat's paw position to cut again as close to the pointed center as possible. You'll repeat this for the remaining portion of the potato so you'll get 16 wedges per potato. As potatoes don't grow in a uniform shape, you might end up with some wedges bigger than others which is okay. You can adjust where you cut down the pointed center to help adjust for the odd shape here and there so you can make the wedges as uniform in size as possible. Again, make sure your fingers stay in a cat's paw position to safely hold down the potato with your fingers so it's much less likely an accident will occur. When you're done, put all the potato wedges on a microwave safe plate. Cut a piece of plastic wrap large enough to loosely cover the plate of potato wedges. Depending on the power of your microwave, you'll microwave the potato wedges for 4-6 to six minutes. I have a 1300 watt microwave and 5 minutes was enough for my potato wedges. While microwaving, let's work on a potato starch mixture. Add 2 tablespoons of potato starch into a small bowl. Add 2 pinches each of salt and black pepper to the bowl. Mix everything in the bowl. After the microwave is done cooking the potato wedges, check if it's fully cooked by poking a fork through a wedge. If the fork tines easily go through the wedge, then it's done cooking. Put the wedges in a bag big enough to hold them all and shake them around too. Add the potato starch mixture into the bag. Seal the bag so nothing comes out. Toss the wedges around in the bag to coat each wedge with the potato starch mixture. Now that the wedges are prepped, it's time to cook them. Put a large pan on the stove top. Add 1 tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. Spread the oil around the pan then turn the heat on to medium. Add the potato wedges to the pan. When adding the wedges to the pan, put them in low and evenly to prevent the splashing of oil. Lift the pan and shake the wedges around so that the oil is soaked in all the wedges. After the wedges have cooked on one side for a few minutes, you'll flip it to the other side. One option to flip them is by equipping a plus one dexterity chopstick. It's quite easy to flip each wedge with a chopstick and to feel how crispy they are on the outside by lightly tapping them. If you can't use a chopstick, that's not a problem. You can equip a plus one attack spatula. Please be careful when holding even a spatula as it can cause damage if swung around. Flip each potato wedge to see if it has browned and crisped on the side which was touching the pan. If you liked watching this video so far, please subscribe and enjoy more like it soon. Thank you! Every new subscriber makes us happy to see. You'll also see the white potato starch on the cooked side will be gone as it is now the crispy part of the wedge. If it needs more time to brown and crisp then leave it for another minute or so and check again. Repeat until you're liking. You can add a little more olive oil to the pan after you flip the wedges the first time to get it crispy if you notice it isn't getting crispy on the flip side. Once both sides are browned and crisp, you're done and you can now plate the elf fries. Now I know drinking a beer would negate the healthy aspect of the elf fries, but drinking a beer and eating fries is my homage to chapter 5 where we are introduced to booze-loving ogre Oga, with Erufuda happily eating fries next to her after the hot sauna battle. Let's see how tasty the elf fries are. Itadakimasu! Mmm, nice and crispy outside with a fluffy potato inside. What a great mouthfeel combination.
While I agree with Urufuda that it would taste better if it was fried in more oil, this simple and easy to make dish satisfies that french fry craving. The flavoring is not too salty and the black pepper gives it a slight kick when I bite into the wedge. Let's take a sip of beer to wash down the fries with. Feel free to join me at this point to celebrate making delicious elf fries. Kanpai! Ah, <sighs> drinking the beer after eating potato wedges is most satisfying. Fries and beer. What a deadly combination which will expand my stomach like the characters in the manga. Hehe. <laughs> As the potato starch coating is all over the wedge, I get a nice crispy bite when I sink my teeth into the wedge outer layer followed by the fluffy potato inside. What a combination. One question you might have is why I cut the potato wedges the way I did, leaving one side cut in a triangular shape with no skin. I feel there's better mouthfeel that way with more of the fluffy potato spreading around the mouth with the first bite into it. Have you read Plus Size Delph yet? It's a really great storyline about Elrufuda, the elf who came from her fantasy world to our world through a magic doorway, but she can't return to her world as she has eaten too many delicious and fattening fries. To return to her world through the doorway, she needs to have the same body mass as when she came through the portal. To do this, Noe, osteopath, helps her to lose weight by teaching her various diets, exercises, and techniques, like these healthier elf fries. There's lots of comedy in this manga as well as action here and there to keep you entertained, along with lots of ecchi moments. If you like thick women, especially thick mythological women like ogres, dragons, mermaids, and more, then this is a must read for you. Learning these techniques can be used in your daily life to help you in your weight loss goal, but you should consult a health specialist before applying what you read in the manga to daily life. What other manga foods do you want us to make? Let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoy making elf fries and eating it too. The simple recipe is for two servings of elf fries. You'll need two medium sized potatoes, two tablespoons of potato starch, one tablespoon of olive oil, and two pinches each of salt and black pepper. I'll have links in the video description for you to buy the ingredients you'll need to make and enjoy this recipe too. Support the manga club by buying the manga when available locally, which I've seen many fans of the series post, including in Spanish and French. I'll have links in the video description to buy the manga in English, Japanese, Spanish, and French. Don't get distracted like Erufuda did to buy books about french fries too. Unless you really want them. <laughs> Follow the manga on Twitter which I'll also link to in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you! Until next time, see ya!